Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 3 of Red Dead Redemption 2, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Arthur, where's your bandana, dude? You don't stop this train so <laughs> He's just not wearing it. Alright, fine. I know, just stay calm. Ow. Go back to shoveling coal, idiot. Let's get our dead eye in reinforced. Let's try to fill the dead eye. Oh, there we go. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. William, Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. All right, refilling some of these cores. What do I need? I need a uh, stamina core. I don't really have anything for that, do I? There we go. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. 
Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Search that train. <laughs> For some reason, my right there has like a totally complete aversion to being masked. I uh, I don't know why. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes. Should be easy as cake. What's your name? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah. Thrive thing. Thanks. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. What? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Blah, blah, blah. You got anything? <laughs> Not yeah, really. Perfect, sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boaties ordered from Europe. <laughs> Think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> I like how I keep picking up uh, paper to inspect and I'm holding up nothing. It's like, oh, what did you interesting paper. These? Let's read bonds. it. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you. Oh. Got a quick little pull. Should I kill him? <laughs> On the train, just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on! Move! We won't tell a soul, I swear! Come on! If I hear so much as a footstep from this car, you'll end up like all your friends out here. It's probably, yeah, there's a lot of loot left that I just never picked up. All right, letting them live by small margin, but letting them live. Look at you, merciful. You kill an O'Driscoll, you leave uh, conductors alone. So, not all evil. I got it. Now, there is a lot of loot to be had here, but I don't want to spend the next half an hour looting them. We'll, I'll just grab what's convenient. Oh, bye, Tusky. Bye-bye. And then it's telling me about fortified bars. So certain tonics will allow you to have uh, fortified stats, like Deadeye, so you can just use a whole lot of Deadeye as long as the tonic's active. That's basically what that means. A 
Look at all these dead people. Oh, good horse. It's too bad I can't just, like, wave my hand and be like, loot them all! <laughs> One at a time. But all this, uh, all these pocket watches and the like that I'm taking off of them will help to fund better guns later on. Stuff like that. Maybe a better horse. Who knows? For Lord's sake, put that book away and go help. Oh, Mary Beth. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Yoda, did you kill the game? <laughs> That's an abrupt end to a cinematic. Come on, do something. <laughs> what is going on? It's the Yoda biome. He does not care much for snow, so you're right about that. Need an SSD? Oh, I got even better than that. I'm a little worried that it just pooped itself. No? I don't know. Well, could be a hard lock. NVMe got a heat stroke. Ah, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I might have to force quit and reboot. Oh no. Ugh, okay. Uh, no, I won't. But could you load? So I guess it's not frozen, frozen. It's just thinking hard or hardly thinking. Hello. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, I will try to kill it. Can't get upset I killed all those bodies. All right, one moment. Just some good old-fashioned technical difficulties. It's actually interesting. The, uh, the first time I played this through when it came to PC, I don't think I crashed once. Like, not even once. So, the fact that I'm crashing now is uh, surprising. I, I, I guess I'm lucky. I don't usually suffer bad PC ports. But who knows? I just fired up my, um, my computer's fans to a much higher profile in case it was heat. But I don't think it was heat. I think it was just being weird. Did I, uh... Nah, I haven't fully downloaded. <laughs> Ain't that right, partner? I don't believe I'm going to be forced to replay very much. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're going to try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. All right. Let's get going. I want to be there before nightfall. That's rude, Hosea. I can't go faster. I'll smush the next uh, wagon. How's the gameplay with a uh, mouse and keyboard? It's fine. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, the rum's gone. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Doctor. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well... Get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. 
stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Nope. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Oval. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. <laughs> what are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Keep okay. missing my exits. Thank you. Yep. I was just enjoying the uh, the story here. I like Hosea's stories. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. 
I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Yeah, in some of these games, if you take too much of a quick path to your destination, it ends the dialogue. Um, so sometimes it's nice to dawdle and lollygag, because you'll catch more of the story. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is we perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. 
I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> All right. At this point, uh, I am a little bit off the leash, meaning that I can sort of choose what I want to do, and that means I'm going to have you choose. So, what can we do next? Uh, we could try to improve the camp, which would mean hunting and donating money, that kind of thing. Uh, we could go on a quest. So these highlighted markers here are quests. Uh, we alternatively could uh, just go hunting. That would be another choice. So there is some hunting to do, provisions, butchering, donating to the camp, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, you get to pick real quick on what we do next. Let me just uh, have myself a quick shave here. Got to keep the neat beard, right? Oh, that'd be the hair. And here's our little camp. What little uh, possessions we own. Ain't even my camp. Alright, and... Some bullets out back. Now, when you donate to the camp and you improve it, uh, you can unlock additional things like being able to withdraw ammo, food, supplies, that kind of thing. So here's the donation box that we can contribute to. And in the top right, you can see the indicator of um, the camp's provisions. And you guys want me to improve the camp. Okay, got it. I'm going to donate, uh, let's see, a pocket watch or two, and then a ring. And then once you donate to the camp, there's $19, and I can you know, make improvements with that money. Don't mind me, Dutch. Now, let's see what's going on. Take a little stew. Helps to refill the course. Hey, it's an O'Driscoll. You're Arthur, right? My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, you seem like a decent fella behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we can also donate things really like some good meat for this stew. Meat. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Animal fat. That kind of thing. Good job, Mr. Morgan. And then, if you check, forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. There is a whole lot of. Uh, things that piercing can craft like if I uh, I wanted an ox rug. I need to bring him perfect ox hides. Yeah, that kind of thing same with uh, All the other camp things so in order to improve this camp There's a few different things that we could do we could hunt for the things to make improvements and that will improve morale and then sometimes people ask you for things like they'll ask oh Could you grab me whiskey? Gonna think about it. That kind of thing Good morning, Arthur. 
I think some of the options here are uh, locked because I just haven't uh, haven't played enough of the sort of main and side quests, though. So we'll be looking to make some improvements to the camp. Now on the map here, uh, you also see certain resources. So this is like Yarrow or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but um, you can make improvements that way. So let's see. Uh, let's see what Uncle has to say here. Where is Uncle? So lazy. Ow! Oh, oh, oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Out of the way. <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> really? <laughs> Get out of my way! The law were alerted. Oh, come on. I had the right away. I was bigger. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Well, that was a short, short quest. One foot out of our camp, and uh, the law is called. Get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. It's the white one over there. It looks pretty spooked. Easy there, easy. All right. May the errand boying begin. Yep, it's a Shire horse. There's a whole lot of horses in uh, Red Dead. Some are rare, some are common. Some are very expensive. They all have their own stats and everything, and you can study them to figure out what they are. So before I uh, calmed him, I here. here you go. 
You're a gentleman. Studied. Now. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Another important thing is, um, depending on how you behave, you can be, you know, sort of good or bad. You're always a bandit, but you can be a kinder bandit or a meaner bandit. Forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Hey there, mister. I've seen everything. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. You got a problem? All right. Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Buy some coffee. Oh, why I don't mind if I do. I already have two, though, so I don't really know if I need a third, but all right. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Ground coffee. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So in this, uh, we could buy, you know, so just a whole lot of stuff. You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Man, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Of course he's buying whiskey. That should do it. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Whoa. 
here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Up. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with now. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I'd advise you to stay away from me. Get down from there. Oh. <laughs> Silly law. Eventually, uh, they stop getting so fussy. You can go kiss a Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. All right, let's go find Karen. Can I help you, sir? Try and help people. Yeah, no, I'm not talking to you. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. We're getting in trouble. Opa, everything's okay up there? It's fine. It's fine. Nothing broke. That? Except for his nose. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? 
Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to Red Dead Redemption 2, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 3rd. This series is a result of the wild card viewer's choice. If you liked this stream and you'd like to catch another stream, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that tune in and support the channel. Thank you so very much. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, friends.